Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're live from Provo, Utah, in picturesque Lavelle Edwards Stadium. We're just moments away from kickoff. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He'll take it from the two. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The Tar Heels have a new head man. New theories, new hopes, new dreams. Will there be new wins? We'll find out. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. yard line. I think it was a great play call and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. Fires out to his wideout, and they got him for a loss. That's a two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 37. Hit out of bounds around the 41 yard line. Third down. Larry, Larry. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Get that quarterback. Get off. Here we go. Easy, easy. Oh, Delta. Oh, Delta. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Larson gained six yards with a short completion. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Taken down around the 47 yard line. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. From the 47 yard line, it's first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Dumps it out left to the running back. Tackle around the 37-yard line. So the pass was complete for a gain of five on the play, and that's good enough for a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. And they make the stop around the 28-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Mike nine. Mike nine. And down he goes at the 31 yard line. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll make it 35. Check, check. Yeah, this 
Fires it out. That's a great tackle at the 28. Penn on the tackle at the 28-yard line. Fourth down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. They run for the first, and they don't get it. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. Yeah, they went with a toss play here, but no one on that defensive side of the ball was fooled. you got to give them credit for making a great play. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. And he just gets rid of it. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. The Cougars running back sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up, trying to get back in the ball game. Here he goes. He makes his way to about the 48. Very intelligent play call. Dialing up the option on third down, and it worked like a charm. From the 24 yard line, first down. Gets out to around the 15. That's a deal. That brings up second and one. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. So at the end of one, still no score. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Stop your whining. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Sweep left. Brought down right around the four-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. North Carolina is looking to go up by three. It's up, and the field goal is good. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top team roll. And for ECU, here's a team trying to win the first game of the year. Locked up at seven. All right, Reese, back to our game. Thompson, ready to kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Oh, 
He zips it out to the left. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. From the 45-yard line, first down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Boy, he put so much heat on that ball. I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. That makes sense. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. And he sacked. Great play by the defense. Ooh, that time they came with the blitz, and the linebacker was able to get free and come away with the sack. So the sack makes this third and very long. He's under pressure, and they get the sack. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Gray looking to knock one inside the 20 here on this punt. Hearn takes it to 15. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. North Carolina is up a field goal. He's tackled at the 37. Call the game of 14 yards. First down. Right, 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 right. Three down, three down. Mike 41. He's got a red down. Easy, easy, easy. Delta. 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 Gets it. He's in space. Tackle made at the 42 yard line. That brings him second and five. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Coleman awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Second, second and ten. ten. Ball on the 39. You don't want hey, hey, you don't want to see me. 
Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's taken down at midfield. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 40. Dives, and he's down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Scrambling around. And now he's going to run. Tackle right around the 20. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. The 10, the 5, touchdown, Brigham Young. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Wildcats took the field ranked 19th in the land. A lot of heat on them to hold that spot in the top 20. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Kansas State, they're looking to win their third straight. The Wildcats are out front, 14-7. 7-3 in this one. Brigham Young gets set to kick this one away. Gathered in at the 6. He's tackled at the 30. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. There's a strike complete. And they make the stop around the 43 yard line. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. Under pressure. And he's hit immediately. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. He's got it out to his tight end. And down he goes, right around the 34. Navajo! Navajo! First down. Wide open, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 34. 41's coming. 41 to Mike. Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. That brings us third and ten. He throws left. They connect again. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the eight-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. to go up by three they'll kick the extra point he makes the PAT it was a seven play 71 yard drive and they put up seven points you know when you could throw the football as well as these guys can you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball Thompson is lined up to kick this one off 
caught at the eight. He's taken down at the 29. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. It's exciting. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He lets it fly. Can't make the grab. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires quickly to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 38. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's under some heat. Passes to the back, incomplete. <laughs> he threw that ball so hard, I don't think anybody wanted to catch it. The Cougars saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Aaron and that ball. It's broken up. We head into halftime with both offenses struggling. The Tar Heels with a three-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. Tackle at the 31. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. That'll be a two-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 29. Throws it in a hurry. They'll drop him for a loss. That'll be a loss of one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Fires quick. He's got another one. He's taken down at the 34. Gray is waiting for the snap. Brought down at the 
39. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. North Carolina has a three-point lead. He gets sacked on the play. That's a loss of six on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Steps out at about the 49. That makes it fourth and inches. And they're coming after this punter. for the corner. Parker takes it at the 16, and he shoved out of bounds around the 32-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Ready, 390. Gets it out quickly. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. From their own 43-yard line. Second down. Denman gets a ball left side. Nice run there. Denman picks up about four yards on the play. down and they need to get it inside the 47. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. North Carolina holds a field goal lead. He's out to the 30. He makes his way out to about the 35. That's a gain of 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Throws a bullet. And that one's incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. And that one's incomplete. Half 
back's got it on the quick throw. He's brought down in the open field. Coleman to punt. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here they come. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's at midfield. Decides to slide. the 47 yard line first down he gets rid of this one going to run it and he's got room to work and they push him out at the 34 yard line the fourth quarter is going to decide who wins this low scoring affair North Carolina leads it 10-7 in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He's got the corner. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. From the 21-yard line, first down. third down and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker and they hit him in the backfield he had nowhere to go on that option play boy you're right he's lucky he held on to the football there He gets it up, and he's got it. And with that field goal, we are all tied up. Yeah, that was a clutch field goal, without a doubt. Brigham Young, the kick. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Sets up a screen, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball of the twenty-two. About the 25 yard line. And he 
he's tackled at the 33. Gain of eight yards. First down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at about the 41. That makes it second and two. it off and they make the stop at the 44 yard line Game of three on the play. That, that makes it first and ten. ten Roger Roger Mike 41 less than three minutes in the game Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 47-yard line. That makes it second and six. Plays good for eight yards and a first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45. Here we go. Red to fire. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is. The offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He's under pressure. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. At about the 21. Gain of eight on the play. That, that makes, makes it second, second and two. two. Mike 41. You got a wedge that up. Key 81. Key 81. Double, double, go. Double, double, double. Just throws this one away. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. And here's another third down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a game of six on the play. That makes it first and ten. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Another run. Sheds a tackler. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. This whole drive has been an exhibition in ball control by this offense. Everything seems to be working right now. First and goal, fourth quarter, all tied up. What's it going to be? Touchdown, Tar Heels. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Delay of game, offense. He splits the uprights with the extra point.
Thompson is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Every smart offensive coordinator here will tell his quarterback to work the play clock down to one second before every snap. You want to work the clock as much as you want to try to move the football. It's you against the clock trying to secure the win. No, incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on the 27. We have less than a minute to go. Scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. The Cougars will use their first time out of the half. In the shotgun and five wide out. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. So the play of the day. Fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Brigham Young will take their last time out. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. This one's in the books. The Tar Heels take this one. 17 10. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.